r slash ask reddit men of reddit what myth about men is 100% in true and infuriates you when you hear it that we can never not be in the mood and if we are we must be sick or cheating i had an ex who pushed for sex while i had a tube coming out of my back to drain my kidney and was on opiates that make it nearly impossible for me to finish she got hers though did you kill her that if we like children but don't have children of our own we're automatically given at the very least a little grilling. If not straight out asked if we're a pedophile. I like dogs too. For pretty similar reasons. Nobody ever asks me if I'm a dog ducker. Are you a dog ducker? Well. Thank you for asking. No I'm not. Well at least not anymore. Surprisingly bitty. Men can't multitask every time I hear that I have to stop what I am doing so I can get angry at it. Thank you to all who upvoted and thank you even more to the kind souls who thought this worthy of the gold and silver. But actually no one's really a good multitasker. We all just think we are. Mythbusters tested it I think. Edit. Thank you. Now this is my best post. With I'm the best you come to in second. That we miss signs that women give them because they are stupid. We see them. But we don't want to be creepy jump to conclusions. Edit. Or we are not interested. This 1000x over. I used to pick up on signals and not act on them for two reasons. 1. Low self esteem. 2. I was terrified of taking something the wrong way and getting trapped in a situation where the girl would actually not have been flirting. There's any number of bad outcomes if a girl does something you think is flirting. For 1. Obviously, she could call you a creep for coming on too strong since you already thought she liked you. For another, maybe you just don't want that one last blow dealt your self confidence. It's a tricky situation. I was terrified of taking something the wrong way and getting trapped in a situation where the girl would actually not have been flirting. The core tenet of my life. It's not the rejection. It's being labeled that guy. Man who works at daycare are pedophiles every year there are people who complain I work there. Meanwhile the women working at daycare aren't even watched and get away with casual child abuse. I knew one colleague who drinks alcohol on work last time I reported. I got a warning about snitch on colleague isn't accepted that is when I went to her other daycare. That we cannot parent as well as a woman. That we need a random woman to come hold a man's child because they're crying. That we are babysitting when our spouse isn't with our babies. Yeah that stereotype is so damn dumb. I mean I changed thousands of diapers and it never bothered me once. I was perfectly capable of dressing my kids. I know how to open a jar of baby food. I wash and hang my kids school uniforms. I'm not looking for a prize but I'm also not looking to be treated like I'm an idiot. I'm a nurse and before that I was a nurse's aide working in a nursing home changing adult diapers every day. One day I was at a restaurant holding my daughter when I realized that she had a dirty diaper. I handed her to my wife so I could extricate myself from the booth. When a woman at the next table made that disapproving cch noise and said, typical, I stood up, took my daughter back along with the diaper bag, turned to this woman and said, please, lady, I'm a nurse. I've changed the diapers of people bigger than you. And I went off to the bathroom. Men think about sex every x amount of seconds I'm a grown man with a life. I have more to think about than just sex. Agreed. I also just thought about sex. Yeah my sex thought budget for the day has been expended. No more for me today. No siree. It's getting better now. But back in the day basically every guy on TV was a sports obsessed. Car slash motorcycle loving. Beer swilling moron who couldn't function without his wife to look after him and the kids. My wife went away last week for work and I'll have you know that only half my kids got eaten by wolves. You did your best, man. Wolves always hunt in packs. So you were probably outnumbered. Plot twist. He only has one kid. Open bracket. Well, half of one now. Adds to the myth that all men are grossed out by menstruation and even the mention of it will send us scurrying. I shared a bathroom with my sister growing up. And I'm a scientist I think I'll be okay. Also, growing up with it being normal lets us help out when needed. As a college tay I always had a few things on hand when teaching long lab classes. Including hair tis and tampons. The dads are dopey morons barely capable of caring for themselves. Let alone their kids. 
My GF of almost 9 years made a joke like this in front of her friends after we started living together. The first time I let his slide, because I wasn't sure what she meant. I asked in private, and she didn't know. She just said it. The second time I stopped and said, who's the one that goes grocery shopping for healthy meal preps that you end up wasting? Who does 90% of the cooking? When was the last time you cleaned the counter, let alone the toilet? She's never brought it up since. I've met dudes that complain about this, but then use it as an excuse to be lazy. If I did that we'd be living in filth, and I just don't have that in me. Currently in college, all my girlfriend's dorms are either spotless or absolutely disgusting. Usually the latter. All my guy friends have some dishes piled up in the sink and maybe they haven't vacuumed recently but at least they typically have some respect for their space. That we're all not interested in or incapable of being involved in the planning of our weddings. I cannot tell you how many comments like remember, it's her day, not yours, I received during the two year lead up to our wedding. I'm not going to lie to you and say I'd been looking forward to getting married since I was 12 or something but I took an active interest together with my wife in the planning of our wedding. It's not my day, it's hers. Duck that. It was our day. We planned it together. Her vision definitely brought it all together and she did a ducking astounding job. But she didn't just make decisions on her own. We talked together about and worked together on every single thing involved in the event. And we were both ecstatic with how it turned out. It turned out beautifully. I try not to toot my own horn very often but I never thought the best party I'd ever go to would end up being my own. My own parents. Who are in an incredible, cooperative, supportive, happy married relationship, and are the best parents I could have possibly asked for. For the record, gave me grief about this sort of thing when I was telling them that if when I get married, I want a smaller, not exorbitantly expensive wedding, they both, especially my dad, insisted that my hypothetical fiancé would be the one calling all the shots. Dut, now that I type it out. I have to wonder if that's them perpetuating the stereotype or calling me spineless. Smaller is the way to go. The current wedding industry is ducking predatory with the amount of money they expect a relatively new couple to spend on what is ultimately a glorified party. Financial issues are a prime reason why people get divorced and what does our society do? Immediately saddle the new couple with a huge financial burden because it's expected. Duck that shit. That men find it normal to cheat and brag about it. Edit. Holy crap. Never expected this many upvotes. Never mind silver and gold. Thanks kind redditors. Any man who cheats on someone loses my respect instantly. Same goes for women. And I'm sure my feelings are shared by most guys. I don't understand why people assume that. Edit. IDKY me saying cheaters were bad deserve gold but thanks for that. And the silver. Kind strangers. Get too close to a child and you are automatically branded a pedophile. I work as Lotea manager in toy store. And even though I have company t-shirt and name tag. People still ask me if I work there. People still look at me weird when I am going around the store doing whatever. It's sometimes hard to ignore. I just hope people will understand that working at my dream job doesn't mean I want to do stuff to their kids. It hurts sometimes. Edit. Thanks so much for all the comments and my first silver. If I don't answer immediately I am sorry but sleep calls and I got work tomorrow. Have a great day redditors. I want to wish you all Merry Christmas and as someone who works in toy store piece of advice. Buy toys now give it few weeks and everything popular will be gone. Much love edit too. Sorry for formatting I am using a phone but holy cow what the heck 8 awards that's ask me anything zing and over 20k upvotes. You guys are amazing. Much love edit 3. Just for you slash smithers 3. I used to eat my lunch at a local lake that has a park next to it. I would park facing the lake with the park behind me. I just sat in my car, listened to podcasts and ate my lunch. One day a lady called the cops on me for being suspicious. Said she was afraid for her children's safety. Luckily the cop was cool and told the lady I was free to eat there since it was a public place. But I didn't really want to risk getting a not cool cop in the future. So goodbye calming lake. Hello depressing parking lot. Edit. I appreciate the support. I'm going to go ahead and start going again. 
I shouldn't really have let one incident over several years of eating there deter me but it just made me really anxious. So goodbye calming lake. Hello depressing parking lot. Duck that shit. Eat at your calming lake. We're all unable to control our nature to have sex. Believe me if I couldn't control myself you'd have noticed by now. Yo my first gold on reddit ever. Thanks. You beautiful human beings. I'm the oldest of three girls and my mom raised us by saying that all men only want sex and they will do anything to get it. Even rape children. We are all deeply paranoid of men and hyper vigilant parents and have really ducked up relationships and holy shit I'm having a revelation. It's like we have the same mother. When I first got my period my mom told me that all the men will be out to get me and how much they luove to get virgins that just started and all men want is sex. I was 9. It took me so long to get over my fear slash paranoia of men. Men are worse communicators than women. Really depends on the man. And the woman. The whole men think about sex every 7 seconds thing. If you think that's true, I have a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. Is the bridge sexy though? The trusses are designed to be fully sufficient for carrying the load, yet they do so in a seductive come hither manner. Men can't be abused by woman. Or that men can get assaulted harassed by other men. I've had some very pushy gay men approach me, one going as far as trying to touch my ass and dong inside my underwear after I said like 3 times that I'm straight and not interested. Luckily the women I was out with immediately chastised that guy, but tbh guys laugh at me when I tell that story and talk about how badly they would have beaten him up. Women who I've told always reacted shocked and emphatic. I was roofied at a gay bar a few months ago. Nothing happened. But I'm pretty certain it was only because I left the bar and somebody found me out on the sidewalk outside the bar unable to move or do anything really and called my friend to pick me up using my phone. I really hate how fruity drinks are associated with women. Like damn can I just enjoy my strawberry daiquiri. Edit. Whoa. I always order fruity frozen drinks and my wife always orders beers. Half the time. The waiter gives me the beer instead. Nobody scoffs when a dude's got to kick ass slurpee but as soon as you add some rum it's a girl's drink. Duck off. Not sure if it counts as a myth but most TV portrayals. The guy's a dumbass and depends on his wife for literally everything. It's annoying and played out. I don't know anyone close to my age that lives like that. Homer Simpson was always a bit of an idiot but he also sacrificed everything for his family and worked hard to provide for them. But now they just write him like he's some worthless bum who does nothing and is a burden to everyone around him. If any of the newer Simpsons writers are reading this, duck you, you suck. I think of this often, both the episode and the sentiment. Duck, where to start? I was a stay at home dad for 2 years. The sheer volume of Karens at parks and playgrounds used to drive me up a wall. They were always dumbfounded when I didn't need their help. Yes, I can change a diaper. Probably faster than you can. Yes, I have snacks. Celery, carrots and a little ranch yes. I have drinks. Water bottles and juicer boxes yes. I have lunch. Chicken cutlet sandwiches. No, we didn't buy them at the deli. I can actually cook. No. I don't need wine. It's 10 a.m. Karen. Get a duck in grip. Edit. Wow. Trying to keep up with the responses is tough. This one definitely touched a nerve. Edit 2. R.I.P. Inbox. They were coming in so fast. I didn't even see the messages about my being awarded shiny awards. Thanks. Fellow reddit dads. I have a 2 year old so he's old enough for the park now. I really thought the whole people not thinking dads can handle it thing was overblown but my god. No. We aren't waiting for his mom. No. He doesn't need your snacks. Who offers strangers food? No. I don't need a break. You're a complete stranger and I wouldn't trust you with a pencil. So ducking annoying. Looks like dad's babysitting. Or you know I'm just parenting. No mom. Just being a good father. Sorry about your husband. No. I am not going to a strip club. No. That doesn't mean I'm gay at it. It's always my minimum effort comments that get upvoted lol. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.